I find ex found extraordinary about this debate was they behaved, most of the candidates yesterday behaved like they hadn't been in power for the last nine years, that they hadn't lost control of law and order, that they hadn't decimated the National Health, uh, decimated the National Health Service, cut education funding, and they're talking like they're just, just some, you know, all of a sudden they're brand new candidates, they haven't got a legacy. Well, Charlotte, the second thing, can I just add one thing, which is, which is linked to the point about the Tory party having leadership contest and foisting another unelected prime minister on the country, like refusing to rule out refusing to rule out a general election or a public vote but they can have elections to elect a new prime minister and treat treat the country like they the public are bystanders this is to the next prime minister this is and at the same democracy. time the audacity to say let me finish i didn't interrupt you i didn't interrupt you the audacity to then deny the public uh, the opportunity to vote on the deal that Theresa May right. has negotiated or the option to remain is totally hypocritical. Danny. It is utter, utterly disgraceful All what right. Conservatives are doing to the British people and their future and their livelihoods. This is the Tory party have a, having a collective nervous breakdown while the country suffers and there's no clarity what's going, about what's going to happen to our future. It is not acceptable. First of all, I'm sorry for interrupting you. Uh, secondly, um, uh, the Labour Party... <laughs> Thank you. The